Ah, oh, it's a beautiful morning. Birds are swaying, trees are singing. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go annoy my neighbors for a little bit. Hello everyone, and welcome to what I guess you could technically call my first mod spotlight, but um, I guess I kind of have done one before, and it was the, the parachute mod, um, but that was only really me showing you how to use the parachute and just testing out things and just trying to do something a bit odd. Um, so I guess I could call this technically my first one. Um, so today I'm doing the furniture mod. Um, I also have Mo creatures installed where you can see all these little things buzzing around, but that was really just to make my... Uh, my um my 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 intro work so ignore that for now maybe I'll do one later if people want it but right now this is just the furniture mod um so and now we ha I think we have I'm pretty sure the furniture mod is installed on the blockage server but I haven't really um, been able to spend that been able to spend that much time messing around with it because of blockage being down and stuff so that's so I thought I'd just install it um on my own and just have a look at it here and make a mod spotlight out of it um so you might have seen a few bits and bobs already um so you've seen the bird bath, but the birds don't really care about it. They just go straight for the trees as far as I can see. They're just like, no, screw this, I ain't getting wet. Um, we also have the um, the mailbox, which I haven't put anything in, which I probably should have to make right, so you can put stuff in. It's cool. It's it's cool. Um, so what I like about this is that you can, and what I like about a lot of the stuff in this mod, is that you can put stuff in the stuff. So you could actually use these as mailboxes and say you had them on the server. You could actually like write people books and stuff and leave them in their mailbox. And, um, and and leave each other little presents and, and notes and stuff. So that's why I, th I think that's pretty cool. We've also got white picket fence, which behaves just like normal fence. You can't jump over it. It's one and a half blocks high. And the doorbell, which actually works as a doorbell. Which I think is pretty cool. You'll see blinds, but I'll show you as we get in. So um, here's the house. Um, oh, those blinds are closed. Um, so these work on... I think, I think you can actually put them on any block. But I think they work best with glass, and glass panes especially. That's what I've got them here on. Um, so they just sort of half block it out. Um, and then if you press, if you right click, they turn into basically wooden panels. If you ever used like the micro blocks mod or whatever it's called, they basically turn into those. Um, so I think they're pretty cool. Um, I also like the little animation of the little white strip that gets shorter as you pull it, just to show that you've actually pulled the blinds. Um, so here I've set up a little kitchen um, type thing. So here we have, um, and I'll show you some recipes for these later. Um, here we have the cabinet, which you can put stuff in. Uh, so they don't actually combine, I don't think. But um, so if I put something in here, for example, I don't think it will show. It won't show up in that cabinet. They're like individual little chests. Um, here we have the oven, which I think you can use to smelt stuff, which is pretty cool. So you can just bang coal and stuff in here. Um, and so it's just, it's just the oven. I mean, most of the stuff in here is purely aesthetic, but... I mean, I like the fact that you can actually use it too. And here's like the little sort of extractor fan um, slash light combo unit you normally get above um, ovens. So I know personally that I hate using and cook using an oven and cooking um, without light above me because I think it makes all the food look ugly. But that's just a weird thing about me. Here's some stone table. Um, it would have been nice if they had smooth stone, but they don't. So cobble will have to do, I think, smooth stone or maybe adding some more like marbly type um tabletops would look better for doing something like a kitchen maybe have it um made of wool or something so it blends in with the uh, the oven i think that'd be pretty cool and here we have the fridge freezer um it said there'd be a freezer but um there wasn't um so i don't know where that went but there is no freezer and here we have the fire alarm which i'm going to see if i can actually you can't right click it it won't set off if you right click it but i'm going to test if i can set it off at the end of the video so um, bear with me for that. And we have electric lights, which just hang from the ceiling. You can't hang them off walls, but you can hang them off ceilings. And you can turn them on and off. So you right click and they turn on and off. And they do actually make a difference. They do actually light stuff up. Um, and here we have a sofa, um, which is just red wool. Um, well, you, can, you can have lots of different colors. You can have green. Sorry if I'm talking really fast. You can have green. You can have red. You can have white. You can have black. I know those for sure. I'm not sure if we can have any others, um, but I'll link to the mod in the description. So if you want to go check out check it out for yourself, go ahead. You do need Minecraft Forge, but once you've got Minecraft Forge, it's extremely easy to install. So don't worry about that. Here we have a very old like CRT TV. If anyone knows what that means, it means they're based CRT TVs are really thick. Um, so you sit on the sofa. Um, oh, I forgot. I'm, we I'm wearing like a, a fur hood and, and jacket things. It's cold up in the mountains. That's where I was. Um, so here we have a little TV on a little, on a little uh, 
table type thing. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty pretty small living room, but you know, I haven't got much space to work with. I couldn't think of anywhere else to put it. And then upstairs, we've got uh, my office. Um, so we have a computer, complete with a keyboard, um, a gravel keyboard, of course. I mean, what else are you going to have? Um, no mouse, which is unfortunate, but you can pretty much get everything done um, with with a keyboard, you know. Not many people know that, but there's pretty much a keyboard shortcut for everything. Um, so, yeah. And we have a printer to boot. Um, so that's that's pretty nice, too. Um, and, and, and a little chair um, th that's part of the mod. And that's all sat on top of... Um, uh, some wooden tabletops, which are the exact same recipe as the stone tabletops, um, but, you know, made of wood. Um, so here we have the bedroom. So here we have beds, normal beds, not part of the mod. And here we have bedside drawers, and apparently there's an oven in the bedside drawer. Maybe I put that there, I can't really remember. Uh, so here are the bedside, bedside drawers, or bed drawers as they're called. I call them bedside tables, and I think people in England all call them bedside tables. I don't know, that might just be my family. If you're in England... Uh, tell me what you call this thing here. And if you're in America or anywhere else, tell me what you call um, the bedside thingy. Um, and we have a stereo, which I'll show you in a minute. And we have a lamp, which turns on and off. Because it's daytime in here, it's slightly hard to see, especially with shaders mod, it bright brightens everything up a bit. But lamp turn on and off. And it seems as I'm all alone, um, I don't actually need the bedside uh, lamp on each table. Um, so, you know, just me, so... I thought I'd only have one of each, don't need two. And curtains, which are pretty much the same as blinds, but a bit more fancy, made of wool. Um, but do the exact same thing, block out all the windows, so when it when it's late at night and you want to get you want to get some busy uh, get down and dirty. That's a horrible way of saying it. I'm not gonna say that again. Um you can you can shut the curtains, which I think is pretty nice. Um oh blinds over here too. But you've already seen those. Um so right what I'm gonna do now is fly off and show you some of the recipes. Alright, so here I am. I'm going to show you some recipes. The village is just over there. I'm just flown over here. Um, one thing to mention is that if you use a texture pack, um, the, the the little icon for the um, for the sort of bedside drawers and, and like everything from the furniture's mod, the furniture mod, the icons aren't retextured. But because um, but because all of the, um, the 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 pieces of furniture use textures from the game already, so as you can see, like. Um, all the lamps are made out of obsidian and wool texture and stuff. It actually takes the texture from your texture pack. So you don't need to install a brand new texture pack. It will actually automatically retexture all of the furniture, um, all the bits of furniture with the texture pack you're using, which I think is really cool and really handy. Um, so if you're wondering how I got them all sfaxy, that's how I did it. Um, so here we have the cabinet, which is just chest inside a chest, kind of, um, which is the one I showed you in the kitchen. Here we have the bedside drawer. Um, which is similar to the cabinet, but another chest. Here we have um, a stone chair, which is made of cobble in a kind of chair shape, believe it or not. Um, you can also replace the, um, the cobble with wood and get a wooden chair, as I showed you up in the study. Here's the lamp, um, obsidian, obsidian stand. Here's your light source with a little lampshade here. Here's the, a wooden table, which I had my computer sitting on, but you can also replace this with cobble and... Um, get uh, uh the the stone table and oh it's it, the, the the sun is setting um and here's the um the oven extractor fan thing the oven overhead i think it's called um so the last thing i'm gonna do is give myself a fire alarm and see if they do actually set off um there we go is a fire alarm and i'll get myself a flint and steel and let's just get myself a couple of blocks in order so let's get nether rack and we'll take nether brick as well. Thank you. Um, so we'll put our fire alarm here and we'll set up a fire here. Actually, I need to give a secret word before I do this. Um, so the secret word will be wasp because I think that's a wasp there. So if you don't have the secret word works, just comment the secret word to prove that you got this fire and that you're hardcore. Um, but also try and hide it in a story so that people who haven't watched the whole video can't steal it from your comment. Um, oh, also another quick note, I have shaders mod installed, but if you want me to do like a mod spotlight on shaders mod, all the different types of shaders mod, then um, I can do that. Um, but right now, let's just finish this off with testing out the fire alarm. And I actually... Ah! It works! I actually wasn't expecting it to work. If I turn it... Get rid of it. Do, do I have to turn it off? Ah, so you turn it off. That's brilliant. I wasn't actually expecting that to work. 
That is absolutely fantastic. I am actually really impressed with that. So anyway, um, if you do enjoy the mod spotlights and you do enjoy my sort of goofy, I'm gonna. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, if you do enjoy my sort of rambly way of going through mod spotlights and being a bit confused and not really understanding everything and figuring it out for myself, then do leave a like. Um, or if you don't want me to carry on, do let me know. Give me some um, feedback is always appreciated. If you want me to try and do this a little bit quicker or a little bit longer, uh, let me know. Um, but apart from that, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!